10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go Transporter 14. Vehicles pitching down range. MOD chamber pressure is nominal. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has successfully cleared the tower and cleared the fog. We've got a tower great view there. Nominal. After lifting off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We are now currently throttling down to prepare for max Q. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle. Max Q is reached when the air density of the atmosphere decreases faster than the increasing Falcon speed of the rocket. Sonic. We're coming up on max Q here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there we've passed through max Q. Coming up next, we'll have several events happening in quick succession, starting with Miko, followed by stage separation, SES-1, and then the boost back burn. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Started. Then the MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. This engine burn, lasting several minutes, will propel the second stage and the payload to orbit. The boost back burn will then assist the first stage in returning to its recovery location on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. Then the fairing will jettison from the second stage, as it's no longer needed to protect the payloads once we are in space. Later, those fairing halves will separate about 30 seconds after SES-1, so keep an eye out for all of those events coming up shortly. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Evacuation. And there we've had Miko stage separation. On your right hand screen, you can see the MVAC engine igniting. On your left hand screen, you can see the grid fins deploying on the first stage which will soon make its way back down to Earth for a landing on Of Course I Still Love You. Coming up next, we'll be fairing deploy in a few seconds here. Fairing separation confirmed. Great call out and great live view of fairing separation. And as a reminder, those fairings will make their way back to Earth for recovery. The next major milestone coming up is entry burn on our Falcon 9 first stage, which is scheduled to occur around the T plus 6 minute mark. The entry burn is used to slow the first stage as it heads back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. We had some good call outs that both vehicles, both first and second stage, are on nominal trajectories. And we are currently in our first MVAC burn, and this burn should last uh, another few minutes. Uh, and the next milestone coming up for the first stage will be the entry burn coming up in about two minutes from now. Uh, today's Falcon 9 will be performing a couple more burns uh, to make its way to the drone ship, of course, I still love you. The next up being the entry burn and then followed by the landing burn. The first burn, known as the entry burn, slows the vehicle down before hitting the denser parts of Earth's atmosphere. Without this burn, we'd only be using the atmospheric drag to slow down Falcon 9, 
which would add extra stress to the vehicle. Following entry burn, the booster will initiate the landing burn, which should slow the vehicle down even more for a successful landing. Those white puffs that you see coming off of Falcon 9 are cold nitrogen gas, which helps with attitude control. Just under a minute away from that entry burn beginning, and again, you can see on your left-hand screen a view from the first stage vehicle as it makes its way back down to Earth. On your right-hand screen is the second stage looking at the MVAC engine there, still burning. We have a, a couple more minutes burning uh, on that engine until the first SECO, which is the second stage engine shutdown. just about 10 seconds away from that entry burn on that first stage. The first stage is just using its grid fins at the moment to help guide its way back to the drone ship, and this entry burn will help slow stage down the vehicle. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS has saved. There's that call out, and you can see on your screen that the engines have ignited on the first stage vehicle. This should just last about 15 seconds for this burn. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And you heard that call out as well as saw that the engines have cut off on the first stage vehicle ending the entry burn for the first stage today. As mentioned earlier, we are scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, and this would be the 26th flight and landing for this specific booster. And during the landing burn, we are expecting the shutdown of the second stage MVAC engine. This is known as Second Engine Cutoff 1, or SECO 1. We are about 30 seconds stage away one from transonic. About 30 seconds away from the landing burn. Stage 2 internal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Stage two FTS has saved. And there you just heard that call out for the landing burn start on the Falcon 9 first stage. Again, this is the final burn that this booster will execute before touching down. Stage one landing leg deployed. Seco. Stage one landing confirmed. Nominal parking orbit. And there you just watched as Falcon 9 touched down on Of Course I Still Love You, marking the 26th landing of this booster. We also had Seco 1, which is second stage engine cutoff.